<laughs> oh, today is the first official day in the house. Our lease was up yesterday. Travis turned in the keys today. All of my stuff, all of my family stuff is here at the house. We are locked and loaded. It is official. It is chaotic, <laughs> okay? I literally woke up doing work. I woke up decluttering. I woke up sorting. I woke up organizing. I woke up um, just with so much on the brain as far as what I had to do. I went to sleep around 4.30 last night. Travis and I were at the apartment um, doing a little bit of last minute washing of clothes and sheets and stuff because my washing machine has decided it wants to get the error code. So we have to figure that out. Um, it came up while I was trying to do the cleaning portion of the washing machine. So I think it's something having to do with the hose uh, is loose or something. Hopefully it's something we can fix because I've actually fixed my washing machine before. I've literally replaced the motor, replaced all the hard wiring, and it worked after I did that. So hopefully this is an easy fix. According to YouTube it is. But I'm in my room because I have literally been going since 10.30 today. It is now probably 9.30 at night and I've been on my feet almost the whole time. I took like 30 minutes to watch a few minutes of Missing, which is actually a pretty good movie. Some people said it was slow, but for me it's cool. I'm a PI at heart, so the whole investigator thing, you know, trying to look for answers. <laughs> Blame that on cheating exes. <laughs> TMI. Yeah, so I'm in my room now and it's coming together, but it's not. Every time I think I get through a certain phase, here comes more stuff. And I cannot believe I had all this stuff in our apartment. Most of this stuff was in our apartment. And even in a bigger space, it still seems like there's not enough space. Like, I've been going so much today, my eyelashes are about to come off. I'm sure you can tell they're like about to fly away. If I bat too hard, I might fly away if I bat too hard. But anyway, if you see behind me, we have our king bed. You probably saw, or I probably inserted that in a previous vlog. Um, we got this lighting. Oh my gosh. I have my LEDs on and I have my exposure down. Because maybe it's too bright for y'all. Is that better? I changed the mode to video mode. We still have book cases that are wrapped up from the move. Um... I have yet to finish Travis's pack system because a part was missing from the clothes rail so I'm waiting for that to come in. Actually it did come in. They didn't come with screws and I found out today calling Ikea that screws are an extra part. Like if you're missing a part that requires screws although when you first purchase it it comes with screws but if you're missing the part you have to also order the screws that come with the spare part i had no idea so today i had to order two more screws from ikea which will probably take a few days to ship so once that comes in his clothes will be, will be done we will then be able to secure the two pack systems the 39 and a half inch pack systems to the wall we'll be able to secure them to each other and then i'll be able to put his sliding glass mirror doors on there so we do not see his clothes and I'll turn it around to tell y'all what I'm talking about in a second I decided to install his pack system in the sitting area in our room because we don't need a sitting area and I was like what can I do with that space the closet I can already tell it's not gonna be big enough for all of our stuff Travis has a lot of clothes I have a lot of clothes and I'm the woman of the house so I automatically deserve to have the closet but I being the great wife that I am said that I would create his own closet in that area um so that it can accommodate if not all most of his clothes and then of course you know his winter stuff stuff he doesn't wear often we can keep that in 
another closet in the house like the guest closet um or eventually um i'll be moving some stuff down to the basement that he can put his winter stuff down there and of course we'll make sure it's protected not exposed i'll create like a whole nother closet makeshift situation for his winter stuff and then as we've been doing when winter comes we'll move our winter stuff in move our summer stuff out but hopefully we have enough space so we don't have to do that i hate transitioning seasons i just like to have everything in one place and when it's summer i'll go to the summer section when it's fall i'll go to the fall section etc etc in his case a very few of his clothes he may not be able to do that but that's okay i'm creating enough spaces for him to put everything he needs for right now i have one more pack system to get for the right wall um, for him to give him a little bit more drawer space a little bit more storage for his hats his jewelry his watches um his cologne things like that a little mirror section just for him to kind of you know brush up his beard his goatee all that good stuff and his hair but it's going to turn out really really nice i'm excited just gotta get this last part in so we can finally secure it to the wall and then put the doors on can't put the doors on until it's secured to the wall because that thing will fall right over we got a 93 inch and our ceilings are eight feet so about three inches from the ceiling there's not too much potential it could fall over but just so that it doesn't tilt for and scrape the ceiling we got to secure it to the wall so we'll do that and then um it's gonna look so nice i'm so excited anyway let me turn this around so y'all can see the chaos i just had to sit down and like decompress because i started to get really overwhelmed i did the pantry i cleaned up a lot of the kitchen i went through a lot of boxes today the girls helped me move my clothes upstairs my tops my pants and jeans are already in the closet but my tops and my dresses they helped me move upstairs we just moved a load of my shoes upstairs so that's two huge boxes that's now out of the house i'm so excited the more boxes that are out of this house the better i feel about this move but here's my bed these are all my tops and my dresses and while it does not look like a lot it is a lot let me turn it around so don't look at the pile because right now it doesn't look a lot look at the hangers it's a lot of hangers it's about one two three four five six seven stacks of clothes fortunately they are already on the hangers so if you have a lot of clothes like me and you're moving some people like to put their stuff in trash bags i don't like that because the trash bags have chemicals in them you're just gonna end up having to wash your clothes anyway or if you don't and you put the clothes on you may break out my skin is super sensitive um just being in this house i've kind of broken out from the dust and stuff that's just what my skin does um it's super allergic to foreign things but what i decided to do was get big boxes travis was able to get them from his job um i take the sides that you know the four sides that fold down i take them up so that i have more vertical space and i took sections of clothes already on the hangers and folded them in half inside the box took another section folded in half inside the box on top of those clothes rinse and repeat so that when I was ready to take the clothes out the box I just had to grab the handful of clothes by the hangers and move them upstairs so that's what we did we did have to use the dolly to get the box tilted over so some of the clothes came off the hangers not all but very few but that was the best solution that I came up with two of our clothes and Travis did the same Kylie did the same and it worked out pretty good when you have a lot of clothes it's easier to move it just in one fell swoop but it's kind of difficult if you don't have the with the door space that you need so before you put it in a big box make sure the box can clear your door I will say that so let me get up from here 
Oh, this is the door for the pack system. That's the glass panels. Um, so that should be going up within the next week or two, hopefully. Uh, my shoes, my sneakers slash boot situation. Um, some stair light drawers that belong to Travis. Uh, purses, dresses, boxes of my clothes. Pillows I need to put in pillowcases. Travis's shoe rack. Lotion that I need to put on because it really helps with eczema. I use this on man and he has not had eczema breakout since he was born. So, if you have children with eczema, this is it. Hopefully it will focus. Wanna say hi to the vlog? Say hi. Hey. Say hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. So this is the lotion that I use, right? So it's really good with eczema. Y'all look at my nails. They look like horrible. They look so bad. So I'll hopefully be getting a manicure soon. This is the pack system anyway. Um, like I said, that clothes roll is missing. That's for Travis's pants. He has his work shirts, his lounge shirts, sweatshirts. More stair light drawers and man who is everywhere. Ikea Billy bookcase that needs to get up. A mirror. Boxes and boxes and boxes of bathroom stuff. More pillows that I put together. More Ikea stuff that needs to go in my closet once I remove the wire shelves. And this is the mound of clothes. So on to the bathroom that we kind of still can't utilize because it's dirty. Guess why? Because they have to clean the repair for the shower that they did. Um, they have to clean behind the repairs that they did. So we got a lot of scuffs on the wall. You can see it all the way from here. Just scuffs from where the girl touched the walls after messing with the grout. And they're coming to clean tomorrow. Drywall and uh, paint is coming on Wednesday. She got plaster all on the wall. I guess she was working violently because why is plaster on this opposite wall? No idea. But here's my closet. Um, I put my dresser. If you notice in other vlogs of the apartment, this had my TV on it. So I put this dresser in here. Well, this chest in here. I got a little thing for my sandals. Uh, stair light drawer I cleaned out. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna put in there. Probably some workout clothes until I can get another dresser or get my pack system with some drawers. Um, Travis did get these little things. I think he got them from Aldi. So he used those for his clothes, but he gifted them to me. So for my short stuff, I have them at the bottom. I'll put tops up here and I have another one over there that I'll use. My rack that I would use for my um, Instagram reels. Some of Travis's uh, fraternity stuff, his suits. More boxes of stuff, a box full of purses, Telfar bags, AKA purses, some little hampers I have shoes and purses in, and then the girls just helped me bring up all of my shoes, which unfortunately have to stay down here because my Billy bookcases are not in here yet. So I have to stare at this. <laughs> until I can get my bookcases in here. Now this one, I was able to get in, the skinny one. Um, I was able to lift that up myself. It was already in here, but I was able to lift that up myself. Um, we just have to secure it to the wall so it doesn't fall over. This one, I usually keep my purses in. I'm hoping to get another one just like this and put it on this side because I have a lot of purses, so I need more purse space. Um, but the Billy bookcases, I'm gonna use to house my shoes. And I probably need one more so that my shoes can be spaced out a little bit. And then for the rest of the closet later on, cause most of my money went to Travis's or is going to Travis's closet for right now. But later on, this is gonna be surrounded with Billy bookcases. Well, not Billy bookcases, pack systems and drawers i need i need drawers and i need hanging room but go put that back that's the closet for right now it's it's organized but it's it's a mess it's organized chaos everything is grouped together where it needs to be it's just very chaotic for me because i have ocd and 
it's very bothersome um, to me to see this stuff like this, although it's grouped together, I can walk through it. It's on the bed, it's not on the floor in the way, it's just, it's very bothersome. Um, that's it for my room. So I'm about to show you the pantry real quick. The rest of the house, y'all gonna have to wait to see, okay? All right, so we're downstairs. I said I was gonna show you my pantry. So here's the pantry. This pantry is gonna be redone, but for now, this is where everything has to go. So cereal, muffins, extra cereal. Travis went shopping at Sam's. I told him to wait, cause I'm like, I don't have nowhere to put this stuff. But he got cups, more plates. Well, we already had those cups. He got more plates. Put his fruit up here. That may change, cause I noticed a fruit fly once I did that, and I ain't seen fruit flies the whole time we've been here. So that may change because I ain't got time for no fruit flies now um all of my little things from Timu my storage containers chicken breast tuna candy um candy jar all of my old pots for my grits mashed potatoes brown sugar powdered sugar all that my honey syrups chocolates ice cream stuff cookie butter popcorn stuff my bread box um I put the toaster in here so you do have a outlet. Um, eventually this is going to be a, a base cabinet situation with a countertop. So I have two outlets that I installed um, for my electronics, like my air fryer, um, toaster, all of that. So we have all our dry goods here in baskets. I've already had these baskets. Got them from Dollar General. Got smaller baskets, the big baskets for chips popcorn extra chips down here that the kids like to eat my um foil press and seal plastic bags which i'll be getting the containers for those that go in the drawer and then the only canned goods we have um are right here i don't keep a lot of canned goods i usually buy them when i'm ready to cook them um so that's that my toolbox because we're still doing diy stuff I got some water that my Ellis gave me um, this weekend because I was thirsty. <laughs> my little white claws, which I've had for a minute. I just still have them because, I don't know. I feel like I need, I didn't really like them, but I feel like I need to drink them because I spent money on them. Um, some trash bags, baking soda, and then water and some snapples. And my Swiffer sleepers, which needs to go back in here. I'm gonna put those behind the door. Later, once the pantry gets done, I'm gonna have a space behind this door to put my broom, mop, all that good stuff. But for right now, it's gonna go here. The plan to have more room in this pantry is to remove this door. And since I have space on the sides to do like a, um, little double barn door situation. That's the plan, but we'll see. Take these off the hinges, fill these um, spaces up with wood filler, sand it, paint it, and then the trim will just be there. So I'll have some extensions coming out for the barn, barn door hardware so that I can open them kind of on the side, and that way I can utilize more of this back wall space in the pantry. Um, Cabinets or shelving will go to the ceiling. So of course I have a step ladder to be able to get up there because that's a lot of wasted space up there. That that needs to have something happening, some shelving or something. But I definitely plan to have base cabinets. And that's it for the pantry. So that is my little update. Um where's the light for the I'm in the dining room now, so this is the first thing you see when you walk in, is my dining room. It looked way worse than this. Um, I've got through quite a lot of boxes. Um, been traveling to South Carolina every weekend, so this has had to stay down here. But our hallway is finally clean. It was filled with boxes, cardboard, etc., etc. 
Hence this cardboard that just had an Amazon delivery today. So that is going outside. Our old comforter, which I'm gonna wash, put in the linen closet because once we um, have guests over, they may want an extra comforter. Nightstands that have to, well, end tables that have to go down in the basement once we do our final cleaning ourselves because the builder to me didn't do a good job cleaning our basement. Our patio furniture for downstairs um, outside of the basement. We have to put that together. We're getting a quote for a deck extension. So I don't really wanna put this out until I know for sure we're gonna do the deck extension because if we do the deck extension, then I wanna put these chairs away from the door. So I'm not setting it up just yet until we decide what we're gonna do. So at least these three boxes will be gone once I decide that. So that'll leave more room in here. Um, this is our chandelier, um, my sconces. Um, like I said, those will be going to the basement, those end tables. The mirror is gonna go up in the entryway once I solidify a handyman. And then again, these tubs of stuffs is Travis's clothes, the stair light, the tub. So we gotta find a place for that once we get his closet together. And I said, if we don't have room, it will go in the basement in a secure location away from all the dust. Everything else is just old paintings, wedding stuff that I have to go through, organize and these three boxes back here are for lights. So lights, planters, all of that good stuff. This is the box that had my shoes, so I can finally put that outside. And then we have more lights that are going on the sides of the garage and the front door. Pendant lights, my ivy from my um, initiation into my sorority. It is thriving. The entryway table, which we're leaving here until after our refrigerator comes so it doesn't get damaged. A box full of Travis's shoes. Um, the bookcases from my old bedroom at the apartment. And the two rocking chairs that are going on the porch that Travis so kindly put together for me. My old computer desk, which served as a wine bar slash shot glass holder slash wine glass holder. Not quite sure where I'm going to put that yet. It may stay down here because the show's heck not going upstairs because it's super heavy even when it's empty. Like the movers were so grateful we decided to keep it down here and not take it upstairs. So, again, I want to show you the mud room hallway we got more stuff from sam's that has to go in the garage once we clear out the garage but my paints this is the only place in the house right now that makes me happy besides my bed <laughs> so that's it plastic all the fire alarms um this is the only place right now that makes me truly happy every time i walk past this i'm just like oh yes 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 um i may put this table there I'm not sure yet. I really wanted a black table, but I can always actually paint this black. So we'll see what we do with that. I'm not showing y'all the guest room because it's just not ready yet. But this is all the chaos. <laughs> Same chairs from the apartment. Those will be switched out over time. The stools I want are super expensive. So our mini fridge, because we don't have our fridge yet. Uh, grilling stuff, Tupperware stuff. All my wine, liquor in there, all of my coffee mugs, all of my glassware and plates, and then wedding gifts still <laughs> that we never used, and more boxes full of miscellaneous. And of course, Kingston running all around. So that is kind of like a one, that is kind of like a one month update. We've been in for Turn that fan down. We've been in for, well, it's been a month since we've closed. Today is our first day officially in the house as far as the full day. Um, we spent the night last night. It was great. My bed felt so good. Um, it is basically quadruple decked. <laughs> 
the mattress has gel foam. Um, I have a gel foam topper. I have a um, mattress topper on top of the gel foam topper. That actually came in a set. And I have a mattress protector over that. So it's kind of four times, um, <laughs> four times cushion. So it was literally like sleeping on the cloud. So I'll probably do a review of what I use for my king, king bed for you guys and post links so that you can order if you're in the need for um, a new mattress or mattress covers, mattress toppers, gel mattress toppers. The one I got was cooling, so I'm a hot sleeper, so that was A++ for me. So, I'm going to head on out with cooking the kids pizza, because that's the only thing. Quick, I can grab out our deep freezer, um, so we're going to have pizza tonight. And I think I'm going to call it a night early, because I literally have gone 12 hours nonstop. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. So, I will catch y'all in the next one if this is the end of the vlog of course my name is francesca Jeanette, lifestyle beauty fashion blogger uh new home build journey vlogger and now house to home vlogger so welcome to my channel if you are new make sure you click that subscribe button below so you don't miss any new house to home updates that i post can't tell you if i'm doing it weekly bi-weekly twice a week <laughs> um every other week i can't tell you that because i don't know Right now, I don't even know where my desktop is to even edit this video. But once I find my desktop, I'll let y'all know. And I'll edit so that I can have more videos. Say hi. Hi. My house is a mess. I'm just literally about to break out in hives. Anyway. Um, if you are not new here and you are returning boss pay, thank you so much for supporting your girl. Like, share this video, comment below your favorite part of the video. If you have moved before and are feeling the struggle that I'm going through right now, comment below. Give me some words of encouragement because I'm about to pull these lashes off and take it to the bed because woo child, it's been a day. I forgot to get the pizza. Okay, hush. Woo child, so I'm about to take these lashes off and take it to the bed because, yeah, I, pray for you girl. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey! Happy Wednesday. Quick update, refrigerator was supposed to come tomorrow, but I got a text from the delivery company saying that they hadn't received it yet, the local delivery company to Atlanta. I am going to be without a refrigerator for however many amount of days, but in true get it done like it's done fashion, I did ask for compensation for the delay. And if it does come tomorrow, I still get the compensation. So tomorrow was when it was scheduled to be delivered, but apparently Samsung, who is the manufacturer, was shipping it to a company here for installation. The company here has not received it yet because the refrigerator is still in Plano, Texas. So for like a week and some change, it's been just sitting in Plano, Texas. Plano, Texas, however you pronounce it. And it's not on its way here as of yet. The shipping company did email me back though and said they do see that it's supposed to be en route to them, either tonight or in the morning. So it just may, might get delivered tomorrow as planned. Right now, we're using a mini fridge um, to keep all of our condiments cooled and all of that good stuff. Um, but I am ready to get my refrigerator in and get my organizational bins for the refrigerator and all of that good stuff. But I'm not buying the organizational bins until I can see the refrigerator and envision where I want everything to know what I need to buy. So that is kind of the hold up. Uh, took the girls to cheer practice today. So with them still going to the same school, I do have to still get them to their activities, cheer practice and all. Because we're keeping the girls in the same school, um, they're gonna be in the same cheer program or whatnot. So that means for three hours, three days at the week, I have nothing to do while I'm 30 minutes over there. So with that being said, I just went shopping because I had nothing else to do. So I'm gonna show you all what I got. If the camera shakes, it's because we're on a basement. As I said in a previous vlog, um, the floor is a little bouncy until we get the basement done and add extra insulation and extra um, 
plywood for the ceiling and drywall and things like that. If I hit the island and it shakes, I'm sorry. It just does that because we're in a basement. I'm gonna show you what I got. The first thing basically uh, that I'm about to do now, this has nothing to do with home goods. I got uh, Kylie's pillows in. These are 26 by 26 inch pillows. They're Euro pillows. I got her two black velvet pillows and they are 24 by 24. So the rule that I learned is whatever size pillows you get, the insert should be a step up. So if you get 24 by 24 pillows, you should get 26 by 26 inserts. My pillows on my bed are 26 by 26. So I got 28 by 28 inserts. So you take them out, they want you to fluff them out for about five minutes. Is that better? Okay, so I guess the exposure is gonna go in and out because of the white, all the white. But anyway, I'm fluffing these up so she can um, take these upstairs and then I'll put them in her inserts later. That's the rule of thumb for the pillows. For your inserts, always go the size up so that it can fill out the pillow and the pillow will look nice and chunky and fluffy and it won't look super sad. It'll look nice and happy and fluffy. So let me take these up there to her really quick. Okay, so I'm back. So the first thing that I got from Home Goods slash TJ Maxx, because the Home Goods I go to is like part Home Goods, part TJ Maxx. I got this blanket. It is a, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's fur. It's not velvet, I think it's fur. So it's the oversized 50 inch by 70 inch blanket. It is by, it's CXL by Christian LaCroix. If y'all know who that is, post in the comments. I don't know who that is, but it's wrapped up so nice. And it's super furry, if you can see that detail and the light shining. It's like a, a bear fur. That's exactly what it reminds me of, like a bear fur. But that's the blanket that's gonna go on the guest bed. I already have some black pillows on the guest bed. So, oh, let me tell y'all the price of that one. This um, fur was $24.99. So as y'all can see, I had to get it, okay. I had to get it. So the next item, I got a marble spoon holder, which was $5.99. And I already have like a silver metal one. So that's gonna be like really cute when it comes to just decorating the kitchen. So that's gonna go over there. Really, really cute. I don't plan on returning any of this stuff. I'm just gonna keep the uh, paper in the trash and use these Okay, so if you have planters and you have fake plants, keep your tissue paper, your plastic bags and stuff to fill those. So if you wanna put moss or grass on top, you have something to stuff them in so you don't have to use as much moss. Keep your styrofoam, keep your trash bags, your plastic bags from the grocery store, keep your tissue paper so that you can stuff those in your planters and put cardboard on top so you can put your moss and grass and stuff around the plant in the planter and it just, you're able to use less because you stuffed it with the bag. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And while I'm here, don't y'all just love my little pools? Oh my gosh, my pools. Kudos to me, cause your girl did that herself, okay? Herself. I absolutely love them. And I did the island ones too, which are gold. So when I paint the island black, after I get my additional cabinets in, it will be a gold and black theme. Pendant lights, gold and black. Foyer lights, gold and black. Mirrors, black, some gold, all that good stuff. Anyway, more stuff. So I got some picture frames, which are so pretty. Now the theme of my guest room is kind of black and white neutrals, but I saw these and immediately had to stop and get them. It has like a beachy ivory frame theme, uh, ivory design with a black shadow background behind it. 
This was $14.99. And along with that, I got a similar one, but it is a circle. So these are gonna go on the wall somewhere in the guest room. And that's gonna be really cool. So I gotta make sure all that hardware is on there. Next, I have a planter that is $7.99. It is like a cream ivory color. And I'm going to transpose my ivy plant that I got um, in 2021 of May into this because she's growing. She needs more room for the roots. I don't want her to die because she doesn't have enough space to grow. So this is going to be what I transpose her into. And it's gonna go with the creams, the neutrals in my living room. And as you can see, the creams are going to offset all the black that I have going on in the house. I got these pillows by Sahiri Home for my primary bedroom. And it is like an oatmeal and ivory tweed color, as you can see on the screen. It's like a tannish oatmeal color with ivory mix, and it's a pack of two. And this was $24.99 for the pair. So that's gonna go in front of my large 26 by 26 euro pillows. Hopefully I can show y'all that um, soon for my primary bedroom review i got this pillow for the guest room it's like a tribal color has my ivories and blacks which is the theme i'm going for so if you can see this picture against this it's giving really tribal tribal near the water type feel it's very soft this was actually 24.99 and it is made in india it's giving like a sweater feel material like a cardigan sweater little ruffles on the end and it's very plush like oh my gosh it's super super plush so that's going on the front and being used as a lumbar pillow it does zip so i'll be washing this if need be after guests utilize it the last thing i got uh two things i got was a lazy susan for my pantry and a step stool for man because he still needs to use some type of step stool to wash his hands and brush his teeth in the bathroom. So he definitely needs this in his bathroom so he can reach the sink, reach the counter, etc. So this was $7.99 and the Lazy Susan was $4.99. They only had one more of these that actually worked. The other one, matter of fact, I may have to take this back because one of the little metal pieces came out right here. It's missing. So I'm probably actually going to have to take this back or I can just not because it still, it still functions. It still works. But I may take it back. I have my receipt. That's it for the home goods haul. That might be all the hauls I have for today. So I will link everything in the description box or similar if I could find it, especially on my likes to know it page. I'll link similar items if I can't find a home goods TJ Maxx direct link. And you all shop away and hopefully you like what I do with these items in these rooms. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.